Start with me. From the leftovers of the previous project, if you haven't seen it, check this out. Gorgeous tiny little page. I would love to make roundy a uh, home decor project and I thought about it instantly. It felt right. Let me just show you the idea. Imagine if we will grab, maybe move it a little bit, if we will grab this and just we need a little bit more space and just oh, there we go how absolutely gorgeous this is one of the idea would be to rip it with a tool of this kind and a filing tool will be good now wow it is absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous just on its own. So I've been thinking, 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 and my idea is to possibly have this one and use some chipboard with it somehow. I don't know, it's just, it's just the idea that approached me and I just felt But this could be just so pretty like that sort of thing and I also thought that maybe we could have a little bit of a cut out in here there we go look this is so pretty now question is where are we placing our balloon but I think it's yeah I love that I love that mm, I think I would love the I would love the balloon to have some of these amphoras as well and also a white round white around I started by covering with some white gesso now if you don't have white gesso you can use white acrylic paint you can mm, try to use any sort of white medium that you have. There we go. Poster paint could be good as well. I have been trying many different options. Um, where to put this top part? I really would love this to have some kind of bow. <laughs> um, but I wasn't unsure. And I think I came up with sort of the nicest way I know I think I'm gonna stick to this one and have our our top part here the reason why it was troublesome it's because um, when you have the basket of our balloon it wasn't as visible maybe as I would like that at the same time I wouldn't like this to be on a super bright background so it would be so much visible no I really love the idea so I feel now that it's like I'm not too sure if you feel it but I feel it as if those flowers are clouds I know the pink, I know the flowers, but it feels as if this is in clouds and that's how I felt about it. So, um, when I was trying to do it like this, this was sticking out like, I don't know, like a flower. Then this, it was too heavy, too light, da, da, da. but now being kind of on the side, having this here and still, sorry, and still having like on the side, but on the bottom, like I feel it works now. I really feel it works. Let's see and let's compose some kind of um, some kind of happenings here with the flowers on our balloon only, and I love that here. We may we may get one more flower. We shall see. Um, so far, I like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more, one more, or or something, or maybe these here something like that however we're gonna put it <laughs> it would be looking super gorgeous let's glue these down I'm gonna be using hot glue gun I like using hot glue gun it is just so easy so convenient I have to say and it just works magic to 
to me anyway. Now a little bit. I need to add some glue there to the to the. I wish to keep the chipboard, but I also wish to have it not that hugely stand out. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the balloon, <laughs> not necessarily about the flowers, uh, about the chipboard, isn't it? So here that is. Maybe this could be nice. Something like that. And then one more leaf. One more leaf. Mind yourself with the hot glue, please. It can be very dangerous. Now, something like that. Very pretty. Now we may have one more. Or something. Hmm, no, I think that's plenty, isn't it? I think that is three. It's a good number. I think that's plenty. And that's here. Now, question is... Are we keeping this bit? Or maybe, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna also... I think I'm gonna cut it because it is sort of taking away from the idea of a lacy feel. And also it is just um, this, this, this pretty... This uh, design... Oh, it's kind of weird. I have to say, no, I like that. I love that actually. Super pretty. We're gonna raise that. I just wonder, because I love it. White splashes, some title, and we're done. I just wonder, is there anything else? <laughs> Another chipboard. Is there anything else we can add? What do you think? I think I found some kind of good idea to cover this bit and why I feel that our focal point is our balloon so having this gorgeous beautiful but big flower that is taking away uh, our attention I rather somewhat somewhat somehow cover it um, also on the side when we have contrary of um, of um, the colors and I just feel that having these by having these flowers here we are sort of building um, a connection between both sides of the can on of the canvas like i just feel it works it matches and i think it just complement each other now and it's not that the project is um that the project is individual that side towards that side no they are together now happy with each other look at it and also I was thinking to add this gorgeous butterfly that is just so tiny but it's just perfect it stands out and explore and I think we can call this one done when we glue it down because it is super pretty let's glue down our butterfly flowers are already glued there we go gorgeousness and time to glue our balloon I wish for it to be tiny but 3 d ishy like this. I love that. Now, if you lift it with the hot glue, you will sort of create this uh, already like a 3D effect because the glue is drying quite quickly. So truly you just raising it and it will never go flat unless you really squish it. So that is a great way to have our project a little bit standing out if you like that explore maybe here I would say so a little bit lower I like that I love that now we have this gorgeous lace this is from 14 craft wire from my gorgeous friend Aga she's shipping worldwide if you're looking for gorgeous such a vintage lacy stuff all these are absolutely stunning she has tons of colors so have a look in the description box no wow this is so pretty and did you see my box box of wonders box of uh, different words from different brands it's a mix and I'm finally happy with the box because it's easy for me to look through it this is time explore but I somehow wish to just keep this simple like that only with this one 
only with this one uh, word. Splashes, my friends, I would say yes. I would say absolutely. Let's splash it out. Oh, this is so pretty, honestly. And you can see it's a limited amount of supplies. We have rice paper, we have embellishments and chipboards and really that's probably it. Mm, a gesso for as the white, but really you could just any paint you have and stuff. Um, no mediums nearly used, wet mediums I mean. And it's a gorgeousness project, super simple, beautiful home decor. You can hang it, you can frame it, you can do whatever it feels right. Absolutely gorgeous. So, project number two from the same type of, uh, from the same kit, done and dusted. If you haven't seen the previous video, the previous video, please check it out. We have the gorgeous tiny journal uh, page and let's move on to project number three.